hello and welcome to the channel beautiful viewers so the satoshi app just released a new update and this update is actually talking about the new deadline extension for colon token wallet submission okay a window for wallet submission was opened not long ago and i wasn't really able to create a video for this because i was kind of too occupied uh, but i made a promise to my community that if the satoshi team would give another grace period then of course i'm going to create a video for this and this is what i have decided to do so um we're going to be looking at the most recent update because we'll have to visit the update and see what they're talking about to see when the new deadline would end so what we're meant to do right now is to come over to this very part that says um colon token as you can see just click on that very part right now now the moment you click on this you're going to see this very update right here which says wallet submission for colon tokens now this reads we have optimized our wallet connection experience and reopened the Coland XYZ token airdrop wallet submission. So if you haven't submitted your wallet yet, now is your chance. Okay, so already submitted, you are all set. So if you have submitted yours, you don't have an issue. And now this is what you need to pay attention to right here. As you can see right here, it says that the new deadline is August 9th at 11.59 p.m. UTC. Okay, so anything after that means that you won't be able to link your wallet address anymore okay once it turns 00, 00 utc you would know that we have crossed to august 10th okay and by that time you won't be able to do this you won't be able to carry out this process again so it's best you try as much as possible to do this before the expiry date okay before the deadline ends okay so um if you have submitted your wallet now is your chance if you've already submitted you're all set thanks for your feedback and continued support now this video is going to show you the right wallet address you are to submit as a matter of fact you're going to be learning three major things from this very video okay the first thing you're going to be learning is how to create your asset password that's what we're going to be doing next the second thing you'll be learning is how to update your satoshi app or create your account if you're doing this for the first time and lastly the third is obviously how to withdraw using either the oex app or metamax app okay and i'm going to be showing you the exact address you're going to be using for this very process so pay close attention to what i'm about to teach you right now don't skip any part of this video so you don't miss out on important information with what i'm going to show you with what i'm going to share with you in this video you can apply the knowledge in other withdrawers or similar withdrawers and carry out withdrawal process seamlessly okay so let's head back right now so how do you really add your asset password it's really simple guys all you have to do right now is to come over to this me section right here just click on that the moment you click on that come over to this very one that says personal settings okay and once you click personal settings you go ahead and click on asset password and once you click asset password this is going to open up and you see it's very few that says old password new asset password confirm new asset password and confirm okay now this is displaying right here because i have my asset password but if you're doing this for the first time you are going to see i think about two box there you might see three i can't really remember how it looks like but once you do this you're going to be sent an email after after the email you do your official verification and you'll be given your asset password it's that simple now if you forgot your asset password you lost yours all you have to do is to come over to this very part that says forget asset password and you start the process all over again and you get your new asset password it is that simple so i believe we have learned how to create our asset password now the next thing we're going to be looking at is how to update your satoshi btcs app or create a new account now if it's been a while you last visited your satoshi btcs mining app then you're going to see an update button at the top right hand corner of your screen right there and that's because the satoshi team had back-to-back -back updates to make sure that the app works efficiently okay so if you haven't updated yours before you do anything on this very app you ought to update your app okay simply click on that very update button at the top right corner of the screen and follow the on-screen instruction to update your app or you can simply come over to play store okay let me just minimize this right now okay and then you go ahead and click on this very app right here that says play store it comes with every android phone if you're using an ios device which is an apple device popularly known as iphone then you can go to apple store okay you should see that somewhere on your phone now for android users once you come over to play store simply go ahead and click on the search bar 
okay once you click on the search bar go ahead and type in the keyword satoshi search now the moment you do you're going to see this very app right here that says satoshi app get airdrops now if you are to update this you'll see this blue button right here as update meaning you have to update the app okay so you just click on that and your update process will begin and in no time you'll be done so back to the satoshi app for those of us who are just doing this for the first time what you have to do right now is to go to the description of this video and click on my invitation link more like my referral link okay or copy that link and paste in your browser i really appreciate it if you do let's just say you do this as a compensation for creating this video for you okay so once you head over to your browser i'm going to be using opera mini for the purpose of this lesson you can use chrome chrome works faster okay just come over to the search bar right here and i'm going to be pasting that very link i just copied okay the invitation link you can copy it in my description and it will lead you to this very site right now which is global free airdrop more than 200 countries tens of millions of users participated okay so you want to scroll down a little bit just drag this down a little bit and then come over to this very button that says register and start airdrop just click on that and as you can see right here you're being asked to impute your email address and this is the field you're meant to impute this email address just impute your email address and then click on next and before you do that actually you have to Take this very icon right here okay you have to take this box and then click on next and once you do that you follow the on-screen instruction i'm sure along the line you're going to be shown how to download this it's been a long time i did this but i'm going to leave a video in the description of this very video that video will teach you exactly how to do this it's very simple i created a video for this before okay just follow that video it's kind of old but you can still apply the same knowledge nothing much has changed so i'll head back to the satoshi app right now now once you're sure that your app is updated you won't see the update button at the top anymore okay so once you're sure that you have now updated this app and you're ready to go the next thing you're meant to do is to go for the withdrawal and i'm going to be showing you how to do that in a moment so guys this is where i want you to pay more attention because this is where it gets really interesting and if you don't pay attention to what i'm about to say right now you might end up doing the wrong thing all right so um once you're in your satoshi app right now just go ahead and click on project when you click on project scroll down to the very bottom and you see colon as you can see right here the status says completed just go ahead and click on that again and you see that the status still says completed now this is to tell you that the colon drop has truly ended okay so let's head back right now now the moment you head back go ahead and click on this me section at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and then click on the asset bar right there once you click on asset bar, click on coolant. All right, scroll down and select coolant. Once you click on coolant, click on link withdraw address. Now, once you do that, you would appear at this section of the app that has two fields right here, which requires your withdraw address and asset password. I was talking about the asset password, but a lot of us do not really know what that is. I repeat, the asset password is what gives you access to withdrawal okay just like the key to the withdrawal okay so the withdrawal address is what we're going to be picking right now and the two apps we're going to be using for this is the oex app and the metamax app okay i'm going to show you how to do it in the oex app for those of us who mind oex token on satoshi app and i'm also going to show you how to get your withdrawal address for metamax wallet for newbies actually for people who are just signing up or those who didn't actually mine oex token okay so just go ahead and click on that oex app right now if you want to download this app i'll leave a link in the description also okay so once you open up this very app click on sign in okay for those of us who already have the app click on sign in type in your passcode and the moment you do you would arrive at this very section of the app right now which says assets okay now this is the wallet address we are meant to link this very wallet address at the top right of your screen right there whether you are in the testnet section or call me next section it doesn't really matter okay just click on that barcode icon at the top right corner of your screen then go ahead and click on copy and automatically your wallet address will be copied or you can go back click on call and then click on receive and then go ahead and click on copy and again your wallet address will be copied it's that simple okay then you go back to the satoshi app paste in the wallet address right there paste in your asset password and follow up with the on-screen instruction i'm not going to show you that now i'm going to show you 
after I explain the Metamax process, okay? So let's head over to Metamax right now. So I'm going to click on this Metamax icon right now. If you don't have the Metamax app, you can go to Play Store and get that, okay? Just type in Metamax in the search bar, just like the way you did for Satoshi. If you don't have that for iOS users, you can also go to Apple Store and search for that, okay? Now, once you're sure that you have installed your Metamax wallet, click on Open and and open up your metamax wallet now there's something i need you to understand the wallet address will be linking to the satoshi app is the core wallet address and that's because this very token called the calling token is built under the core evm okay it's built under the core chain okay that's why we'll be linking the core evm wallet address to the satoshi app for the withdrawal of calling token that's why we're making use of core in this very video as you can see right here i have core and i know you might be wondering how did i how did i get that All right to get that just come over to the the app section which is also the browser section click on that and then click on the search bar right here once you click on the search bar you type in the keyword scan.cordal.org okay scan.cordal.org okay Pay close attention to the URL so you don't head into fishy sites. Once you arrive at this web page right now, scroll down to the very bottom and click on this very button that says Add Core Network. By the moment you do that, automatically Core Chain or Core Main Network would appear in your MetaMax wallet. Um, as you can see right here at the top, you have Core right there. And that's because we have added Core to our MetaMax wallet. Now, if I click on that very icon at the top right there, you see that there are different network right here and by default it will be on the ethereum network okay but by the time you add core network to this and select core network okay you have to make sure you are in the core chain before you pick your wallet address okay you have to make sure you are in the core chain do not copy the wallet address of ethereum or else you would lose your funds okay so you have to make sure you select core chain after you add the wallet address so once you are now sure that you are in the core network, just click on core right now and then go ahead and click on this button right here that says receive. Okay. And that's because you want to receive this token into your Metamax wallet. Okay. So once you click on receive, you click on this copy button right here and automatically your wallet address will be copied. Now let's head back again. The simplest way to copy this is by clicking on this code right here. Okay. By clicking on this copy icon at the core account right here so once you just click on this copy icon right here automatically your wallet address will still be copied what i want you to know is that it is still the same address okay including the one you did for the oex app both address in the oex app is the same address and both address right here in metamax wallet is the same address don't get it twisted guys okay it's the same address so just come back to the satoshi app and click on link withdraw address and then go ahead and pasting your wallet address right there and now type in that asset password you have created okay because that will be the key to unlocking or withdrawing this okay once you type in that asset password you go ahead and click on colon link withdraw address button and as always you see this pop-up that will say are you sure you want to confirm this wallet address you go ahead and click on confirm okay because you actually want to confirm that wallet address okay Immediately you do that, another pop-up would appear asking you to head over to your Satoshi app registered email to copy the verification code that has been sent to you. Now, this verification code will last for only a minute. So once that timer expires, all you just have to do is to click on the resend button right there. Okay, so head over to your email right now. I'm in my email right now and I'm just going to click on this right now. Click on this very email at the top. Then go ahead and copy my code. Head back to my Satoshi app and then paste in that wallet address you just copied right there and click on confirm next we're going to have to do the facial verification and this is one part that becomes really tough for a lot of us once you click on start verification right now you're going to be asked to fix your face in the pastry and follow the ai instruction you'll be asked to do things like positioning your face in the frame turning your head to the right turning left raising your chin opening your mouth stuff like that just to verify that you're a human being okay and this ai keeps record they'll keep your face they'll try to match your face when next you try to withdraw just to confirm it's you so you have to make sure that you go out somewhere that is bright 
I highly advise you do this in the daytime, okay? So you can get the best light as possible. Do this with moderate light for the best results. So if you successfully pass the facial verification, you're supposed to see a message that says colon withdraw address linked successfully. But if you do not see that, just go ahead again and click on that button that says colon link withdraw address and click on confirm and you're going to see this pop-up that will say colon withdraw address is linked successfully so this is the main thing right here once you see this message just know that your address has been binded your address has been linked you have nothing to worry about okay you have successfully linked your withdraw address to this very app okay so even if you come back right now and you see this very button that says link withdraw address you have successfully linked your withdraw address and you have nothing to worry about okay the key is seeing that very message that says colon withdraw address is linked successfully okay so that's just it all right um so that's it for this video if you haven't joined the satoshi mining app i would advise you do so now because this very app is here to stay Start participating in these various airdrops because no one knows what these airdrops might turn out to be tomorrow i see them as a good project though all right so hop in right now until i come away next time i remain your crypto guy daniel stay safe